Do you remember we talked about Yuji Naka, who is the creator of Sonic? And, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> and the other cursed game. And the other what cursed game, ba- Balan. That's such a good picture. <laughs> uh, if anyone isn't aware, yeah, Yuji Naka is the guy that created Sonic the Hedgehog and his most recent game, Balan Wonderworld, which came out and I think almost gave me a stroke when I played the demo because it was so fucking weird. Oh, it was, it was so bad. I felt sick playing yeah, it. Game, no, game, I don't get motion sick, but... That game was so bad. Yeah, he might be going to prison for like two years. Um, him... For Balan Wonderworld. Right? Yeah, yeah, because that game was so bad. They're locking him away. <laughs> I'm glad we're finally arresting bad video game developers. Yeah. That's, that's what we've been missing. Yeah. Um, him and a few other people were basically inside of trading stocks. Um, it was information on... What was it? it was, yeah. Remember that um, Battle Royale Final Fantasy VII game? Oh, yes. Um, the First Soldier. Yeah, there was based on that and another game called Dragon Quest Tact... Um, he, him and a few others knowing they were coming out by a smaller development studio uh, bought a bunch of stocks and then obviously you announce a new FF7 game and everyone flips their shit and you know that dev studio stock price goes up um, yeah he's, he might be it's not confirmed yet there's like a, another court casing but he might just be like getting locked up which is kind of a sad ending to the, <laughs> to the creator of I can't Sonic. honestly I can't <laughs> I can't think of a more appropriate ending <laughs> for the creator of Sonic <laughs> to go to prison. It's like, oh, his legacy, all this Sonic pregnant art online. <laughs> and the, oh crate, and the creator's just in prison. <laughs> it's almost That's poetic. Such a strange, what a strange story. Uh, for, over a Final Fantasy mobile game, of all things, yeah, to go to prison for. We, That's we, so sad. We said this, didn't we? Where it's like, you should wait for the fucking release of a massive game or something. Maybe, maybe he thought because it was something smaller they'd get away fly with under the radar or, yeah um, maybe he's just an idiot maybe he did come up with sonic <laughs> yeah. it's all just a fluke up to this point he's like i have no clue Sorry, how it i is, got it here. Is, uh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's like it's not sad know, it's just it's just super interesting i think it's like it's, just, it's super weird it's like a, it's like a trivial pursuit question or something in a few it years is, yeah it's like yeah, it is. what famous <laughs> video game creator all, got locked up for two years for insider trading so this will be in uni quiz nights for <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. decade to come yeah yeah <laughs> it's just like whenever people uh, like, get, get asked or you think like how do you know so much like useless video game shit this is one of those stories that's just like how do you know that i thought you were gonna say this podcast will give you all the oh yeah yeah video this, game shit this podcast go, is just yeah, a combination yeah. of useless video game shit compiled together in a weekly format <laughs> but, yeah. who's next you think oh kojima, oh, kojima my, will do something no, fucked up at some point plan. the guy behind crash bandicoot so oh, yeah, he reckon, yeah. Just got, can't be he can't be guilt-free right <laughs> hopefully it'll be bobby kotick Oh yeah, <laughs> that's realistic though. Oh. He's actually a demon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just feel like at some point Kojima will do something for one of his games, and then the police will be like, "No, no, you can't do actually yeah. do that. That's that's either it, uh, fraud yeah, it's or that's either fraud be, it, or it's heavily like frowned." He'll upon. organize yeah. some kind of a, uh, ARG where he actually kills a person. Live on <laughs> I was camera. gonna say it would be, it'll be it'll promote be Death Stranding too. <laughs> yeah, it it won't be it won't be anything like fraud or like oh he inside the trade it will be like no body mutilation or something. <laughs> yeah, he hacks into the Pentagon and releases classified documents. Yeah, he he uploads a new trailer for Death Stranding two onto official government Pentagon websites, mm. and they're like, <laughs> what the fuck? No, straight to prison for you. <laughs> tweets tweets out the launch codes for the world's nuclear arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to the first one hundred people that finish Death Stranding two. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Call Kojima. Yeah, you have the nuke codes. Do with them what you wish. The one person just instantly launches nukes. <laughs> yeah, rest in peace, Yuji Naka. Right. Um, <laughs> uh, what else we got this week? A few like smaller ones. Um, Do you reckon while he's gonna in prison, he'll spend his time developing the next Sonic game? Or well, oh, there's a joke there, isn't there, oh. about like outrunning? He can't out. He can't outrun the law. <laughs> There's something there. I don't know. Someone, someone, he was, you he guys was, can do something with that. He, he was seen being ushered into the back of a police car shouting, gotta go fast. <laughs> <laughs> no more chili dogs for him. <laughs> Maybe we get more chili dogs. You know, I don't know what Japanese prison's Ugh. like. 